morning children now we are going to learn the chapter lines and angles in this chapter name itself we are uh, we are going to learn about lines and we are going to learn about angles first of all what is a line a line is a line which has two arrows a line is a line which has two arrows and we can denote this line as ab we can name this line as line a b and we can denote it as line ab we can denote it as line ab and next what is a line segment a line segment is a which having two end points it is a fixed line a line segment which having fixed line means it is it can be about uh, 5 cm and 10 cm a fixed line which having no uh, arrow marks is called a line segment and we can denote this line segment as line segment ab is a small line segment about the ab is called the indication of the line segment and next array array is a uh, which fixed point to and at the other side we can extend the line means and so on from a to b a is a fixed point and b we can extend the line to anywhere we can means and so on it is it is denoted by array ab it is denoted by array ab and next we can learn about lines these are intersecting lines two lines intersecting each other two lines intersecting each other and this intersecting point q is called intersecting point two lines having intersecting uh, sorry two lines intersect at point q and that point is called point of intersection and next two lines which have no common points or no intersection points these are called parallel lines these are called parallel lines means no common points or no intersection points and more than three lines a lines lines which are more more than three lines means intersecting more than three lines these these lines are called concurrent lines uh, we learned about lines and now we are going to learn about angles first of all tell me what is angles the best example of angles is a clock see there are two hands means two rays joining here for example i am taking here two pens see the assume that these two are two rays see i am joining here these two points combined together and these are a rays okay so this is the means a line a ray which is another ray on the ray means two rays see here a ray go a another ray on the same ray b okay means two rays on the same uh, point this is called zero degree angle this here for example uh, angle is equal to theta theta equal to zero degree and this complete angle is called zero degree angle this angle is called zero degree angle and now see the b ray means the upper ray we are taking an angle means moving a little upwards this is called an acute angle this is called an acute angle means go a is constant and go b is moving to little upwards this angle making here angle theta this angle theta is called acute angle and this is between this theta is between 90 degrees and 0 degrees means this theta is more than 0 degree and less than 90 degree this is called acute angle this is called acute angle and next assume that this ray uh, moving like the perpendicular straight ray this is called right angle triangle this is called right angle triangle and the symbol of this angle will be like this it is theta and theta is equal to 90 degree and it is called right angle triangle it is called right angle triangle the next one is if this ray move little uh, more angle creating more angle here this is called acute angle 
See like this, a ray and actual angle go A, B and this is theta. It is theta is between more than more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. This is called obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. And assume that if this ray make a straight line. Make a straight line. This is called a straight angle. In the itself it is there a straight angle. This is 180 degrees. B, A and O. And theta is equal to 180 degrees. And it is angle is called straight angle. And this angle is called straight angle. And next assume that if this ray became uh, more angle, creating more angle like this, it is called a reflex angle. Means this angle is moving forward like this. From here, from here. Okay. This is uh, O and A and B. A angle is forming here. See angle is forming here and it is theta. This angle will be uh, between, uh, means more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees. And less than 360 degrees. And again see this angle, this ray is uh, again joining to itself but making here complete angle. Here in the word itself it is straight, it is a complete angle. 0, A and B. Here it is forming a complete angle. Complete angle is equal to 360 degrees. And uh, is there any question like uh, what is complete angle? And happily you can put the answer it is 360 degrees. The complete angle is 360 degrees. I hope you understood well. Let's continue this class in the next class.